morning YouTubers, so today is Thursday, I was going to say Friday, it's Thursday. Got a job on for a motorhome company in Stafford to move a Fiat Ducato, Fiat Ducato long wheelbase, single axle, that's all I know. Gave them a quote, they have bit, they have took the bait. So going out there now in the DAF accident unit, um, going to probably have to use some timbers to get it loaded. As you saw with my transit jumbo, um, obviously I put a slippy gym under the rear tow bar, but obviously with this motorhome, obviously it's not my vehicle, it's going to be worth a lot of money. It's a 20 plate vehicle and the gearbox has gone faulty. So it's under warranty and it's going up to Iveco Sherwoods in Stoke-on-Trent, where I bought an Iveco from them before. It wasn't very good. I got a full refund on two vans, but that's another story for another day. Story for another day. Um, yeah, this is going to be a Fiat Ducato motorhome recovery on the 18 ton at Tilton Slide. Thanks again for all the new subscribers. I think I'm on like 2,050, which is just, you know, madness. I only expected to get, well, my goal in my head was 1,000. We've done over 2,000, so absolutely sound. But all of you can achieve anything if you put your mind to it and put your time into it as well. Literally, you can. You can do anything you want in life, as long as you're willing to put your time, your effort, and your energy into it. So, yeah, PMA, positive mental attitude. See you when we get to the dealership. Before I leave, just quickly check my emails and I've had feedback already off this customer I'm going out to, the motorhome company in Stafford. Customer service, foreignness and wait time. I don't know if you can see that. Called and spoke to a very thorough and out helpful gentleman, <laughs> that's me, explained everything in great detail and left with, with no questions at all. Really great customer service, use them for the first time today and we'll be recommending to many in the future. Let's get that motor home unloaded nice and safe and hey, and four straps y'all, four straps my friends, four straps. Right, now it's time to go. Quickly putting it out there, not got my seatbelt on, seatbelt exempt, she was made of no seatbelts, okay? Right, moving forward, so again, just going back onto the YouTube front as I'm just driving up to the motor home garage now. Um, I've seen so many comments, like so many, so trust me, I have been reading them, I have been seeing them, and hopefully later today when I've got a bit of downtime, I will go through them all and put my responses and replies. My Facebook page is just absolutely insane with messages like, I've probably had more messages recently off YouTube than I have of customer quotes since I set up like eight years ago. And again, you're saying, Greg, what have you done? How did you set up eight years ago? Well, that video is coming too. So just bear with me, it'll come. Uh, what, what, what's the caption gonna be? Like, who is GDB? The story of GDB. How did he set up his own recovery business? I don't know, but it's definitely coming, so stay tuned for that. A lot of you asked for it, want it, and I will give you my, my true insights of setting up a business from scratch. Not inherited, not copied anyone, straight set up from scratch. So please stay tuned for that one, because you will enjoy it. When I got rid of my Iveco 18 tonner last, the Tilton Slide with I have, I went out to view a couple of trucks, uh, more modern, newer. They had the SLA bodies on, which is a super low approach. But you know what the biggest problem was with them? One was the price, they're like, cheaper than I saw was like 45 or 50 grand. That's a lot of jobs to make that money back. And, but yeah, the, the problem with that SLA truck that I looked at, the body was so high off the ground that if you took a motorhome on the back, boom, going to be a convertible Fiat Ducato, and I'm sure your customer or member will not be happy about that. So, good thing with this DAF, she sits so low to the ground line. I can't explain how much better this truck is than some of the other more modern stuff out there. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm very fortunate here. I'm in the Midlands where we've not got any emission zones unless you're going to Birmingham, but I try not to go Birmingham where possible. Um, but when you're in London and that, I know you've just got to stick with it and you know keep up with the times. But luckily for me, I like the old vehicles. They're easy to maintain. They touch wood, tend to be more reliable. 
Oh, I have got one. Touch wood. Um, and yeah, so that's it. So I don't like the new trucks myself. SLA bodies are great, but my God, they are so high off the ground. And I don't see the point where people get these SLA body trucks just to pick up little Ford Fiestas and they do club work for 40, 50 quid. Don't make sense. Right, arriving at garage in just a couple of ticks. <laughs> this little roundabout is where I nearly died a year and a half ago. I was coming around this roundabout in the outside lane, coming up the 34, and boom, some old boy went into the side of me, rolled my vehicle about three or four times. We obviously also do the work for Stafford Land Rover doing work for them for a fair few years now and also on the estate we've got Nissan and we also do the recovery work for them it is uh, quite rewarding to be honest and um, when you have got these big car garages and dealerships that use you as a business it does mean a lot so yeah very happy absolutely very happy <laughs> Thank you.
The wood may lift up a little bit in a sec. May. No, we're all right. That is how we do that. Ah! What I'm going to do now is just take my middle plank to wood out. That's how we do that. If you like what you see on the channel, please make sure to like and subscribe. Another one bites the dust.